In Genesis, he's the seed of the woman. In Exodus, he's the Passover lamb. In Leviticus, he's our high priest. In Numbers, he's the pillow of cloud by day and the pillow of fire by night. In Deuteronomy, he's the prophet like unto Moses. In Joshua, he's the captain of our salvation. In Judges, he's the judge and the lawgiver. In Ruth, he's our kinsman and redeemer. In First and Second Samuel, he's our trusted prophet. In Kings and Chronicles, he's our reigning king. In Ezra, he's our faithful scribe. In Nehemiah, he's the rebuilder of the broken down walls of our human rights. In Esther, he's our deliverer. In Job, he's our ever-living redeemer. In Psalms, the Lord is our shepherd. In Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, he's our wisdom. In the Song of Solomon, he's our lover and bridegroom. In Isaiah, he's the Prince of Peace. In Jeremiah, he's the Righteous Branch. In Lamentations, he's the Weeping Prophet. In Ezekiel, he's the Wonderful Four-Faced Man. In Daniel, he's the Fourth Man in the Burning Fiery Furnace. In Hosea, he's the Faithful Husband, Forever Married to the Backslider. In Joel, he's the Baptizer with the Holy Ghost in Fire. In Amos, he's the Burden Bearer. In Obadiah, he's mighty to save. In Jonah, he's our great foreign missionary. In Micah, he's the preacher with the beautiful feet coming to preach good news. In Nahum, he's the avenger of God's elect. In Habakkuk, he's God's evangelist. In Zephaniah, he's the savior. In Haggai, he's the owner of all the silver and gold in this earth. In Zechariah, he's the fountain opened up in the house of David for sin and uncleanliness. In Malachi, he's the son of righteousness, rising with healing on his wings. He's the Christ. He's the Christ. He's the Christ. He's the Christ. In Matthew, he's the Messiah. In Mark, he's the miracle worker. In Luke, he's the Son of Man. In John, he's the Son of God. In Acts, he's the Holy Ghost. In Romans, he's the witness to our spirit that we are the children of God. In 1 Corinthians, he's the gift of the Spirit. In 2 Corinthians, he's the God of all comfort. In Galatians, he's the Redeemer from the curse of the law. In Ephesians, he's the Christ of unsearchable riches. In Philippians, he's the God who supplies all our needs according to his riches by Jesus Christ in glory. In Colossians, he's the fullness of God. In 1 and 2 Thessalonians, he's our soon-coming king. In 1 and 2 Timothy, he's our mediator between God and man. In Titus, he's our faithful pastor. In Philemon, he's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. In Hebrews, he's the blood of the everlasting covenant. In James, he's the Lord who raises up our sick bodies. In 1 and 2 Peter, he's our chief shepherd who soon shall appear with the crown of unfading glory. In 1, 2, and 3 John, he's everlasting love. In Jude, he's the Lord coming with 10,000 of his saints. In Revelations, he's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He's the Christ. He's our Savior. Savior. His name is Jesus. 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 Jesus.